Good morning again, my friends. I am sharing a devotion with you from Tupelo First United Methodist Church, where I serve as the senior pastor. The scripture lesson for today is 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, the 9th verse. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Reading from the New International Version of the Bible, we read these words. The Lord said, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Wow, what powerful words. We human beings are all weak. We are susceptible to sin and falling short of God's grace. But God's grace is sufficient for all of us. For God can take our weakness our weaknesses and turn them into strengths. God can take our shortcomings and use them to bless other people. So today, those of you who are listening to this message may be feeling that you are not sufficient. You may be feeling like I do sometimes that I'm weak in spirit and I'm not able to pray hard enough. I'm not able to love hard enough or to forgive. God wants us to remember that even in the midst of our human frailties, even in the midst of our human weaknesses, God is still there. And God can take our weaknesses and turn them into strengths. God's grace is sufficient for all of us. And so today, I invite you to take all of your burdens, all of your cares, all of your weaknesses, all of your shortcomings to God. And God will receive them and turn them around, flip the script for us. And he will take what appears to be a weakness and turn it into a strength. And allow all of us, all of us, to be blessed by him, and to in turn to be a blessing to others. May God bless you today, even in the midst of your weakness, and even in the midst of my weaknesses. May God bless us all. Amen. Let us bow our heads. Dear God, bless us in our frail states. Bless us in our weakened states. And give us the ability to rely on you and to take all of our burdens and cares to you and leave them there. And we ask that you would give us the strength and courage to do your will and to become an example for others. This we ask in thy name. May all God's children say amen, amen, and amen.